Hey, hello there. So today we got a requested a question, 825 friends of appropriate ages. Uh, so we got a bunch of people, they want to make friends requests amongst them themselves. Uh, we know their ages in this array ages, uh, where the ice element is the age of the ice person. Uh, somehow they seem to make friend requests only based on their age differences. So A will not make a friend request to the other person B, they are not the same person if the following are true um, we got some relationship between the B's age with A's age uh, in some kind of formula and the B's age has to be if B is older than A then A is not going to make any friend request to person B if person B is over 100 and person A is smaller than younger than 100 then person A will not make a friend request to person B this seem to be redundant because the second one um, if it if it's uh, this case it's definitely this case uh, so the third, third rule is useless uh, we only need to check this two to determine whether A would uh, do a friend request to B uh, if any of these two satisfies then uh, we A will not make a friend request to B, uh, and this uh, a di the friend requests are directional. Uh, it doesn't have to be uh, if A requests B, B does not necessarily to request the back, and person the per people will not friend request themselves. Um, okay, makes sense. So w what we need to do is count the total number of friend requests in there. So looking at example sixteen sixteen. Uh, this it's going to be requesting among themselves uh, between these two so it's a two friend request 16 17 18 the 16 will never request any any to uh, initiate a request to anyone because the other two are older than him so the only possibility is the six uh, 17 and 18 requesting this 16 um, so we do have a, sec a 17 to 16 but uh, the 18 is not uh, requesting friendship with the 16 so I guess that uh, has to do with this formula so 18 if we take 0.5 is 9 9 plus 7 is 16 so uh, that's uh, smaller or equal to 16 uh, that, that means 18 will not initialize a friend request to the 16 guy and um, so that's why we only got this two. Uh, yeah, so yeah, uh, I think that it's enough for the examples. Um, and the note here is just saying um, there are a lot of uh, people. And since people can usually just be one to a hundred, uh, we, we're going to have uh, roughly like uh, uh, 200 people of the same age in, in this uh, for, for every age if uh, the ages are roughly uh, roughly uniform random uh, so that means we can um, utilize the proper fact that uh, there are many people of the same age um, to potentially speed speed up uh, the code the brute force is definitely just checking person by person right uh, enumerate over this uh, uh, ages array in a double loop and just comparing the pairs and uh, count up uh, the total number of friend requests uh, that are going to be n squared uh, something that uh, we can do to speed up this is to um, because the redundancy in there is uh, when you have uh, uh, 16 and 18 you, you already know whether they're going to make friendship uh, or not you don't really care who is the 16 people whether this is the first one in this array or the tenth one in the array you, you don't care uh, the only thing that you care is just to count the number of uh, people with uh, age 16 and the number of people of age 18 uh, if you can determine that uh, uh, the 18 and, and 16 were not going to be making friend requests uh, you can just uh, don't count them at all or if you figure out that 16, uh, 17 is going to initialize a friend request to 16 then among all the pairs uh, between the 17, age 17 people and age 16 people uh, no matter how many pairs are there they're going to make that many amount of uh, friend requests so that's just uh, the frequency count for uh, the 16 and 17 multiplied together um, 
the only thing that uh, potentially needs to handle is uh, if we loop this over a double loop, we can just check the index. If the two index uh, are the same, it means the same person. Then we uh, exclude that. Uh, the when we do the uh, when we summarize the people by their age, uh, counting up uh, the number of people with the certain age, and enumerating over the pairs of ages, uh, we need to dis uh, exclude the, the situation when we have the same uh, the same people uh, requesting friends to themselves. It's just a little code in there to deal with this case. So just gonna code this up really quickly. So I'm gonna call this uh, age groups. Uh, to be just run, running a frequency count of the ages here. And then uh, we're going to have a total requests initially to be zero. I'm uh, going to uh, loop over all the age pairs. The condition is that uh, uh, if if A would uh, make a friend request based on their age, um, we will just uh, add that to the total. Uh, the total is uh, their. Uh, So if, if the person with age A would make a request to a person with age B, um, just based on the age number alone, if we, we determine that's true, then we're going to have the, this amount of uh, friends requests among these two age groups, uh, age, age pairs. Um, the only thing that we need to take care of is if uh, they are the same age. Uh, that means we want to exclude uh, the self request that's generated by uh, doing this. So we just subtract uh, the the number here, uh, because if we have three number with three people with age, uh, uh, let's just look at this. If we have two people with age sixteen, uh, so num a multiplied by num b is going to be 2 multiplied by 2 and uh, within those we have two that's uh, self self uh, requests so we need to subtract that and uh, that, that's why we first add those up and then if we find it's the uh, case the the uh, the same age then we want to uh, exclude uh, just subtract the double counted stuff there after that, we should just return the total requests. Uh, now, what's left in what's left is just to code up uh, this uh, helper function to um, uh, determine whether a uh, the pe people with age A would make a friend request to people with age B. So, uh, just gonna directly translates this uh, two relationship into code. If b is less than or equal to 0 0.5 multiplied by h a plus 7 uh, return false. If b is greater than a return false. Otherwise uh, a would initialize a friend request to b. So return true in the end. Um, so that's pretty much the code. Uh, let's run this through example. Uh, so a little bit more. Looks good. Um, so yeah, let's just submit this one. Okay. Um, yeah. Um, I, I just don't know why there is this uh, re redundant relationship in there. Uh, with two, con th this one seems to imply this. Um, no, no, sorry. If it's the third case, it's definitely the second. So we don't even need to check uh, the third if we already checked for the second condition. Uh, so that's why uh, this code actually works. Um, and 
and just looking at the notes here, we have uh, uh, 20k people, and the age is just uh, from 1 to uh, 100 something. There are going to be a lot of duplicates, so that's why we actually want to work in the age groups uh, rather than between individual person level. Uh, so, uh, so that's why we are counting the number of person with certain age and uh, comparing the different pairs of ages, uh, adding those numbers up and exclude the double counted uh, amount when we actually have the uh, self uh, requests uh, being added in this uh, multiplication. So that's the uh, question. Uh, yeah, hope it's helpful.